Huntsville wakes up to Brian and Tracy. And Thomas Rhett, beautiful as you, right here on the Wake Up Morning Show. All right, uh, listen up. If you use Google Chrome, I'm a Google Chrome user. I've just been using it for years. I, Anyways. I had to use it for Spanish to pass Spanish because they didn't accept Safari. It was a nightmare. Wow. But, yeah. Well, their latest update could uh, brick that ad blocker you've grown to love. Uh, they've been transitioning to a new system that's supposed to offer more security and privacy, but not all extensions are working with it. Uh -huh. So you can check to see if your extensions uh, that you use are compatible or not. Just click those three dots up in the top right-hand corner of Chrome, choose Extensions, then Manage Extensions. Mm -hmm. uh, anything that won't work with the new update, should uh, be right there at the top under the line that says this extension may soon no longer be supported. Uh -huh. uh, there's a button to help you find similar extensions to replace it, uh, but there may not be good alternatives for everything. So just kind of be on the lookout uh, that that new Google Chrome update uh, could mess up your ad blockers and stuff. So that's on the way. Luke, Brian, love you, miss you, mean it. On 101.7 KCM, we're getting ready for a Huntsville Hornet season like you've not seen in a long, long time. The, the fellas made a really good run in the playoffs last season. And this year, it's it's they're bigger and better than ever. And we are expecting them to get in the playoffs again and maybe even making a deeper run. It's going to be a good season. I'm excited. But the most exciting part about all of that is, is that we get a full season at our brand new stadium. It's yeah, HISD. And your season tickets for all five of those home games, your season tickets are available right now, but they are going quick. They are running out quick. You got to get those things secured right now and support your Hornets right on into 2024. Go to our website. There's a banner there you can click. You can get your uh, get your season tickets squared away right now. That's uh, KSAM 1017. Dot com. And sting them, Hornets. Chase Matthew and love you again on the K Sam Wake Up Morning Show as we're rolling right along here Monday morning. And uh, lots of uh, school districts uh, getting underway. Of course, Trinity got underway uh, last week. New Waverly, first day of school is tomorrow for those Bulldogs down there. Mm -hmm. Willis ISD, they're starting school on Wednesday uh, for students over in the Montgomery ISD. Uh, they start on Thursday. And then, of course, here in Huntsville, we have uh, Hornets going back to school a week from today, and then Alpha Omega uh, coming up on August the 21st. Uh, so, by the way, for Huntsville ISD students, mom and dad, you're going to want to be listening every af every Wednesday afternoon at 3.15, 3.20-ish for the Hornets Nest. Uh, Shannon Hollis, the communications director, is going to give us weekly updates, as always, and uh, she's got, of course, some very important information for all parents of Hornets and HISD students as we get this brand new school year underway a week from today. So the Hornets Nest coming up Wednesday afternoon at 3.15 on KSAM. Bam, tell us me vida loca on KSAM. You're listening to 90s at noon. I'm Carlos Zimmerman, your Southeast Texas weather forecast is coming up. Got some Shenandoah and I'll try to squeeze in some Dwight Yoakam as well before we wrap up 90s at noon on this Monday. Before we get there, do want to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, that The Gathering, the annual training event for all volunteers with a time to read, is scheduled for not next Monday, but the Monday after, two weeks from today, Monday, August the 26th, from 5 to 8 p.m. It's at University Heights Baptist Church in Huntsville. Returning a new volunteers serving Huntsville ISD school children for the 2024-25 school year should participate. If you didn't know, A Time to Read is a nonprofit partnership with public schools that helps second grade students entering third grade reading on grade level. For more info on that and their great organization, head on over to our hometown happenings page at ksam1017.com. Chris Stapleton on your hometown radio station, 101.7 KSAM. Good afternoon. I'm Carlos Zimmerman filling in for Big Glenn Edwards. Coming up, your Southeast Texas weather forecast coming up. I said coming up twice, didn't I? Oh boy, I need more sleep. Uh, Justin Moore and Drew Baldridge also around the corner, too. Well, friends, scientists have been saying that we can expect these weather extremes to continue. So maybe our friends in Alaska are just bracing to join the chat. Uh, there's a new poll out on natural disasters, and nearly three in four Americans say they live in an area where hurricanes, tornadoes, or earthquakes are either major or minor problems. And 26% say they live in an area where one of the three is a major problem. Not surprisingly, people are most concerned about hurricanes here in the southeastern part of the United States, like Louisiana, Florida, Mississippi, South Carolina, and here in Texas. 
People are worried about tornadoes in the central United States, like in Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Arkansas, Missouri, Iowa, Alabama, and Texas. And people are most concerned about earthquakes out west here in the U.S., like California, Oregon, and Washington State. But strangely enough, Alaska, they're paranoid about all three, even though they haven't had a lot of devastation to this point. 29% of Alaskans say earthquakes are a major problem. They've had 17 over the past 100 years. There were two 60 years ago that were quite lethal, and people may be worrying more since seven of those her, uh, earthquakes rather came in the last 10 years. 31% of Alaskans, though, say hurricanes are a major problem, even though Alaska's never been hit by a full-on hurricane. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Riley Green on 101.7 KSAM, your hometown radio station. Good afternoon. My name's Carlos Zimmerman. Your Southeast Texas weather forecast is on the way. Some Kit Moore and Chris Young are on the way, too. But before we get there, let's take a look at our good news of the day. A 19-year-old panda named Ying Ying is a new mom after giving birth to twins at a zoo in Hong Kong yesterday. A boy and a girl. And she's the oldest panda on record to become a first-time mom. And a wedding ring lost in 1963 just turned up 61 years later. A guy in Kentucky named Glenn Gregory lost it near a tree on his farm that he planted with his wife, Barbara, right after they got married. Well, they've looked and looked and never found it. Well, sadly, her husband passed away in December, and Barbara had him buried under that same tree, and finally just got around to adding the headstone this month. And while workers were digging a trench for it, they found the ring. That's your good news of the day. As you make your rounds on this Friday afternoon, wherever you may be, whether you're at work or at school or preparing to go back to school on Monday, I hope that warmed your heart and gave you some encouragement to get you through the rest of this Friday and through your weekend starting tomorrow.